So it's six o'clock in the morning. I'm out here waiting for Billy to come back and Mario, two little dogs who both suffered from abuse. Billy actually had a very horrific start in life. He was attacked. We found him like a little fluffy ball uh, that had been slashed across his head. He actually ended up having PTSD, the same as humans has. He had a swollen brain. Uh, we sent him for an MRI and he completely lost his sight. So. We've been recovering him for the last two or three months, but he still couldn't see. 90% of his vision was gone. He was bumping into things. And he was just a dog who was down on his luck, but people really uh, loved Billy because he had such a lovely spirit. And even though he had all those things wrong, he was still a wonderful dog, but we've been able to give him the gift of sight. He's been in hospital 800 kilometers away, getting fixed up. And uh, I'm very excited this morning. I couldn't sleep last night. Himself and Mario are coming back and Billy, who will be coming up that road in a minute, will be able to see again for the first time in years. Sadika. Sadika. Billy, you're back. You're back, mister. Good boy, Billy. <laughs> So we put a new bandana on Billy, he's settled back in, you can see he's a lot more relaxed. He's having a lovely time, a big smile on his face, he's met all his friends. Um, his treatment plan from here is actually going to be quite complicated. He has to get three different eye drops, so one, two, three in different eye drops, but he needs to get those every four hours. Um, because what can happen, I believe, I'm not an eye expert, but he can get glaucoma, which is how McMuffin uh, lost an eye. So the pressure and everything in his eyes is really important. But He's got his eyesight back. You can see one is crystal clear and this one's a tiny bit uh, foggy, but he's looking in a different way now. You can see him focusing in on, he's looking at Lana and the camera now. He's looking at Sandy. He was looking at the puppies. He can see stuff, which is amazing. So the treatment plan is hard now. This goes on to the end of July, which is six weeks um, off these eye drops. But essentially Billy's got his eyesight back, which is incredible. Now I always remember this is where Billy used to sit where he first came in. It was myself and Neil and anybody really. I uh, used to hold him because he was screaming so much and he was, had his PTSD. He couldn't see, he was scared, he had the brain damage, but he's essentially fixed now. Uh, he's obviously a very tired little boy. You can see that he's come all the way back uh, overnight uh, in his taxi, but he's so well behaved now. And he's taken the world in an awful lot better, which is, which is fantastic. So the process now for Billy is, like we said, his treatment is gonna take till the end of July. If there was somebody around who would maybe foster him, a really nice cozy home, that would be nice because he gets his eye drops every four hours. And then he has some homes lined up. So the big question was, could he fly because of his brain damage? And the answer is yes, it's all the swellings come down. So the doctors, his own private doctors and surgeons have said that he can fly. Now Mario also came back from hospital last night. It would be not fair to not mention him, but he was a very serious abuse case. He um, had his leg broken. He had head, head injuries. Uh, he had a big sort of uh, cut on his neck, but he is fixed also. We'll do a full video on him as well. Super Mario, lovely little boy. Now, if you like the work we do helping dogs like uh, little Billy and Mario here, you can help us massively by hitting the subscribe button down below or just liking the video. Every uh, little subscribe helps us to help even more dogs. So thank you very much from me and Mario. One of the best parts of the story, I think, is that somebody actually paid for uh, Billy's eye operation. So it was a, a donation online and they specifically said they wanted to, uh, to do whatever it took to get Billy better. His, ex his operations were expensive. I think they ended, I haven't seen the final bill actually. It's scary, uh, but it was uh, paid for his eyes, which was a lovely gesture by somebody online. So Billy is slowly building himself back up. He was broken really, and I, he wouldn't have survived. He would have been um, dead, absolutely no doubt about it. He's been through so much stress of the journeys to the hospital, operations, PTSD, blindness, cuts on his head, he actually had heartworm at the very start, which has now been fixed as well. And what, like the list was endless. And it would have been so easy to give up on Billy and say, it's not meant to be, which somebody did. Somebody gave up on him obviously and left him out on the streets. But he's an older boy. He's only 
we would say about eight looking at his teeth but because he's a smaller dog he could live to maybe 13 or 14 so the future is bright for Billy quite literally because he can see now um, so we're gonna go and see his friend Sandy now which is uh, he's very excited but I didn't want to introduce him to Sandy straight away because uh, I thought he might get too excited after his journey but him and Sandy used to be best friends and for the first time ever Billy's gonna be able to see Sandy now, believe it or not, this is the first time that Billy has ever set eyes on Sandy. He's never seen him before. They've been friends for a long time, but Billy's staring at him like it's, it's the greatest thing he's ever seen. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them on their first, well, they've been on a lot of walks together, but Billy could never see where he was going. So, Sandy and Billy, best friends. Billy can see him at last. What a wonderful surprise that is, Billy, isn't he? That's what he looks like. That's Mr. Sandy, your best friend. <laughs> Let's go for a walk, come on. Come on, boys. Let's go. Come on, boys. Now it's the end of the day. It's been a huge day for Billy. I'm so happy that he's back from the feeling this morning at, well, I was up from four actually worrying about him, hoping that he'd be okay, but had no need to worry. You can see that he's fantastic. We groomed him today. Uh, what else did we do? We're doing his eye drops every few hours. He met up with Sandy. That was lovely. He really enjoyed that. And I think he's just generally enjoyed being back here and seeing everybody. But he's got a very bright future ahead of him. Obviously a couple of months of recovery, but you can see him. He's, he's looking around. He can hear Jules down there. He can see her for the first time laying out the food. So he's very busy. The food is coming. Your dinner's coming, mister. It's coming. Isn't that amazing? He can actually see stuff. That would never have happened before. He used to stay, stare into space. Oh, Billy, 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 your food is coming. Your dinner's coming, mister. We're gonna put him to bed um, so as he can have his dinner and have a big sleep. He's definitely gonna need to rest for a few days, Mr. Billy. Um, and we'll put his cone back on him to protect his little lenses, which are delicate. But unbelievable recovery for Billy. It's come full circle for him and he's got his sight back. Look at him looking over there. He can see the dinner. You can see the dinner. Okay, that's it from us, for me and Billy. The recovery is ongoing, but what a recovery for him. Eyesight is back. Billy is happy. If you like the video, you can subscribe. Um, and we will talk to you soon. Billy is excited for his dinner. <laughs>